Hello everyone, Argzy here. Welcome back to Spectacle Island. Now when we finished the last episode I said I was going to tinker with the truck and we've made a bit of progress. Still not running but uh, we've certainly got it tidied up. We've banged it back into shape a little bit. Uh, it hasn't cost us anything yet but I am certainly going to have to pay someone for those tyres and uh, I think there's a few engine parts we might need to look at. So uh, if anyone wants to give me some suggestions on what that might have cost me I'd be all ears, but uh, it certainly is starting to take shape, so looking forward to being able to get to using that. Now, I just uh, before we get started with today, I just wanted to thank everyone who's commented on the last couple of videos, those who have offered their help. Uh, there has been some fantastic backstories suggested, and uh, I will certainly be looking into those and incorporating them in the future. But uh, just before we get on to the help we have for today, I had one of my uh, close friends reach out to me. It's his wife's birthday, or well, it was this week, and he asked, do I do birthday shout-outs? Well, I don't normally. Well, I wouldn't a live stream, but not normally in videos, but uh, make an exception for this one. Uh, she is a big fan of the Spectacle Island series, so happy birthday, Roxanne. Hope you had a good day during the week, and uh, enjoyed your birthday. Now, what is our plan for today? We... Want to get these two fields planted i'm going to plant corn i've decided uh, mainly because that is one of the feed sources that pigs need so we're going to put corn in both these fields uh, i want to sell the silage the silage is a good price at the straw barn at the moment but it is dropping so we're going to try and get some of that sold and then the other thing uh, and thank you also for your suggestions on some placeables is i want to get started on our production placeables area now i'm going to do it down at the main road there's a section of land between the road and the inlet on the other side and I thought let's uh, remove that a little bit from the main farm we'll keep this area as our farmyard and that will be uh, where we go and clear so we might go down and try and clear some trees from there anyhow let's just uh, wander over here and see who our helper is today and of course how could it not be Roxanne so welcome along Roxanne nice to have you here Help us, helping us out on Spectacle Island. Now I know you're a big animal fan, so we may even go down and maybe buy some pigs, a few more chickens, and add to our animal numbers. Uh, but you can see we've got Darren's name up there on the honours board for his help last week. So uh, that's the plan for today. Probably nothing better than getting started on getting the silage sold so I'll probably jump in the loader we'll get Roxanne to run the trailer we'll get things hooked up in fact I need to uh, convert that trailer back to the silage sides on it so we'll go grab the toolbox get that done get everything hooked up and make a start so we've got the uh, trailers all hooked up to the doits we'll just get over here and get this uncovered Not how far we can uncover back it'll peel back as we go to load into it now I realize I haven't yet replaced the bucket I was going to go for a high tip option just to uh, get the clearance we need up into the top of the uh, trailer. So we'll just take it carefully and do the best job we can do this time. And uh, get it all loaded up. So we'll just put this on a little bit of a time lapse. Always a good way to do something like this. Uh, I was contemplating putting the delivery on an auto drive course, uh, but we haven't set that up. So we're just gonna carry on and get this all loaded and sold.
the last load of silage going in. We uh, we only had five litres capacity left in the trailer. I was so confident disconnecting that other one. It could have been a disaster if I uh, had had a few litres more silage. That worked out really well in the end. But uh, so has the silage. If we get another five grand off this, we were on about thirty-one and a half thousand dollars when we started, and we're just over sixty-one and a half thousand. So thirty thousand dollars off all that silage, which is a fantastic result. Sets us up, sets us up well to be able to go and clear some trees and get a few placeables put down for uh, sort of the production part of the farm. So we'll get back. Uh, I think, well, well we'll get back up there and then I'll sort out what we're going to do next. Over here at the yard we've obviously finished selling the silage. I was going to get Roxanne to go and start putting some fertilizer on these two fields before we plant them. Uh, ideally we were going to use the sprayer there with some liquid fertilizer in it, however it has none in it. We have our spreader here but it has lime in it at the moment and we don't actually have any dry fertilizer. Which is a little bit of a problem. Uh, I need to go and buy a planter if we're going to plant some corn. And we need some seed. And we talked about making some seed. So what I think I'm going to do, after all of this long-winded explanation, I think we're both going to make a trip down to the shop. I'm going to take the wheel loader down with the pallet forks on the front so we can load up a few totes of uh, liquid fertilizer and maybe some fertilizer uh, bags so we can get to going with that. Uh, I've also got something in mind, we're going to start making our own seed so we need to bring something back for that and we need to bring the planter back so I might take down the fent purely because it's got the front tray on it and we can carry something back on there and hopefully whatever planter we buy won't be too heavy for on the back rather than uh, running the doits down there. It would be a little bit slower but we're going to be governed by the speed of the wheel loader anyhow which we will take down with the flat deck. So it's a bit of a uh, bit of a long-winded journey, but I think with uh, 60 grand in the account, now would be the best time to do that. So uh, I'll get everything hooked up and we'll get on our way. All right, so Roxanne is off there in front of us. She is on the fence. We've got the wheel loader. It's a little bit harder to drive being articulated, so I didn't want to put that stress on her. Uh, we are a bit faster too, so we might uh, might jump in front when we get a chance. But we'll head down to the shop, we will uh, get things sorted, lots to buy, lots to sort out, and then we'll get back here and actually get some field work done. So we've both made it down here to the shop, and first things first, we'll take a look at our planters. Now, if we just scroll across, we've obviously got the drill we could put here, or the planter we could put on to the vent. Uh, only a three meter wide planter and obviously we're trying to increase things on the farm and get bigger. We've got these row planters here and if we look at the second one here four and a half meters wide this is a three meter wide so we get a bit more width. Uh, it also gives us the option if we look here to fertilize with it which is fantastic. Uh, it would mean actually we wouldn't need to fertilize the field to start with because we could do it afterwards. A few design options there, signs, some extra hoses which I think look quite nice. So I think for $3,800 we will be buying that one and taking that back to the farm. With the planter bought we need to get some seed. Now instead of buying some seed I'm actually going to look at making our own. And I found this concrete mixer seed maker which works as a placeable. Obviously there you can see we can place it. So I'm just going to put it here and we can actually pick it up and move it around by hand so I'm going to put that into the front of the vent and get that driven back to the yard. Now it works by taking a crop like the oats we've got sitting back at the farm or the soybeans in the silo and by adding some herbicide to it we can make it into seed which means we need some herbicide. Now we don't need a lot of herbicide I think if we just scroll through here we've got the herbicide gallon pallets uh, we could get that which is still it's only 320 liters uh, but I'm just going to check whether we've got a single doesn't look like we have got the single one installed so I think we're going to have to take one of these 
So we'll get that bought. And the other things we were going to buy, some liquid fertilizer and some dry fertilizer. So we've got the fertilizer tanks here. We will buy one of these and then we will go and find a pallet of fertilizer. And we'll go here with this big bag fertilizer, which is uh, $2,000 for 2,000 litres, which actually works out quite affordable. So we'll get those loaded up, we'll get them back to the farm, and uh, we'll obviously get the seed mixer set up and running, because we need that uh, seed pretty soon, and uh, then we will get some of the other things underway. Alright, let's get uh, Roxanne hooked up here, and she can head off with the planter and get that back to the farm looks like that's all our hoses connected those ones there and perhaps we don't have enough terminals on this hopefully we do on the doids there we go that is all hooked up now we need to unhook our trailer might as well just unhook it here and get everything loaded up onto the back of that and then we will get back to the farm and make a start all right and there we go all strapped on and nice and secure so we will now make our way back to the farm Roxanne will hopefully just about be back there and uh, we'll get everything set up down there and hopefully very soon be able to make a start on some planting and we are back so we'll just uh, I think we'll just leave that there for now we'll go and help Roxanne get sorted out we'll start by getting this uh, concrete mixer off there we go now I had thought it would be a good spot for it just to sit up under here for now just in case we need to wash it out be the water supply close by there we go now if we just stand close to it and we bring up the menu there interesting i've got these areas because i had when i installed this the other day i did not so obviously one of the other global company mods i've installed has caused this problem it's a little bit unfortunate but you'll see there the top is the seed the bottom is the herbicide uh sorry the top is the crop we put in bottom is the herbicide and then on the right hand side the output is the seed so uh let's go and get these things sorted out we're going to grab some of the in fact do i still have a bucket over here with a small amount of oat in it i do let's just run this up and over here i think we should be able to just tip it here there we go just put that down up in there you can see we've got 16 litres of seed there. We're going to put the bucket away, good to get that out of there. Probably uh, made it a little hard for ourselves because we need to get these big, this big bag here out. And we've got a, a mobile truck in the way, so I'll we'll have to figure out how we get that out. Uh, but we'll get this disconnected, we'll get everything else taken off and then we can uh, see about getting the herbicide put in and getting that going as well. Look at that. Herbicide here, everything else is unloaded as well. Now I think we just put that, oh look it took it all. So it's taken that and you can hear it is now working and making us some seeds. So I think it's Output, you can see up in the top left corner, the productivity a 1,000 litres an hour. So uh, it's obviously not going to make a 1,000 litres because we don't have that much crop in there. But uh, perhaps I might, I might go and try and extract that oats bag and uh, get this topped up. Because it would be good to get some seed made. Oh, I was hoping to be able to fit down between the truck and the grass bales there, but no dice. So I think just so we can get the seed underway. You know, go and grab some uh, soybeans out of the silo, and we will use those. Be nicer to use the uh, cheaper or the lower cost crop, though the uh, oats. And obviously, we don't have any need for those at the moment because we don't have any horses. But we'll just get this uh, get this connected. We'll go against some soybeans. It's just going to be the easiest option for us today. So we've just grabbed. Just over 1200 litres of soybeans out. So if we head over here, we'll be able to tip it into the trigger. Shouldn't take it all. I think it only had a capacity for a thousand. Here we go. Must be dump dumping the rest on the ground. We are. We're making a right mess. 
but that should now show us, if we just stand there, that both the inputs are pretty much full. And we should get some seed. So in about an hour, just after 11 o'clock, we should have a thousand litres of seed, which would be good. We can make a start planting. So uh, Roxanne's just in there. She's, she's keen to get started planting. We're just going to head off for a minute. We'll leave this running. We'll uh, go down and take a look at what I want to do for the placeables because that was obviously one of the focuses I wanted to have for today's episode. Uh, we've kind of lost direction just a little bit trying to sort this all out and uh, just having a few little a few little issues that I wasn't expecting. But we'll get past those and uh, we will go down and take a look at uh, that placeables area. So over here on the other side of the main road through the island, just opposite our entry there, you can see behind us, a little bit of a clearing, and then there's this sort of section of land which runs parallel to the road, which is much like the rest of this island, has a lot of trees on it. And there's a little bit of a clearing in here, in between these sort of taller standard trees, and my intention is to try and clear some of this out, get rid of some of these smaller trees, and slowly start to build a little bit of a, I guess you could call it a production area, uh, or a placeables type area, where we put things like our greenhouses, if we get the beet uh, production facility up and running, if we were to get a, I don't know, a distillery, uh, potato washing, something I'd like to try and do, I haven't done that before, so all those kind of things would be to get them set up and running over here. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to run through, clear some of these trees out, we're going to start with some greenhouse placeables, ones that require manure and hopefully ones that produce a pallet. I know there's a potato one, there's an onion one, uh, something like that so that it's not just a passive income, it does actually require us to sell things. Uh, I just think while we could uh, treat it that if it has a passive income we are providing a product to it, we're having to keep it stocked up and uh, someone comes and picks up the product, we could so that's what hap what's happening and we're getting paid to grow that but uh i think better do it the other way so i'm just going to get in here and cut down a few trees make a bit of a clearing and see what it's like when we're finished now i do know a few of you have suggested i can cut the uh, stumps up for firewood um, but i just find it easy to get rid of them as we go so less likelihood of forgetting one missing one leaving one behind so we'll see what kind of area we can clear out and uh, maybe have a look at getting a place we'll put down. So I think that is a reasonable size clearing to start with. I think we uh, should be able to get a couple of greenhouses placed in there and a nice little track that will uh, give us some access into them. So I'm just going to go around, clear up some of these logs, stack them all off to one side and make sure they're out of the way. In fact, I wonder if we put them over the other side of the road. Probably not. We'll probably just move them somewhere where they're not quite as annoying is being scattered through the middle and uh, then we can have a look at what we're going to place. I think that is all the trees that I've cut down dragged out of the way. I've just stacked them all up here so they'll be easy to access and of course we drop that one uh, but they'll be easy to access and grab when we need to uh, move them out of the way and get them sold. Or if we choose to cut them up for firewood, or what exactly we do with them yet, I'm not quite sure. But that leaves us quite a good area in here to uh, look at some greenhouses. So let's just take a quick look at what we've got and make a choice. So under placeables here, I think most of the greenhouses are under miscellaneous. We'll just scroll through here very quickly. You'll see as uh, cucumber and tomato greenhouse. Uh, I'm just quickly going to click on them. These ones all are sold automatically. 
Uh, keep on scrolling through. There was the flower one there. There's a tomato and lemon greenhouse. They're all by Alien Jim. It's part of his big No Man's Land package. Uh, we've got the onion one there. Now that is one I know does produce a palette of onions. Uh, these ones all through here. Peppers, tomatoes, lettuces, cucumbers. They were released recently. But again, they are a passive income. That's is the same for these ones. And those two there as well. Now the only other one that I have is the potato one. So I think it's the onions and potatoes. Are the only ones that I have which are a... Uh, produce a product rather than being a passive one. So I think for my first one, I'd prefer it to be a um, something I have to take to sell, to the sell points. Just double check under global companies, we don't have anything in under there. Uh, and that should be about it. So I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create a level area and then I think I'm going to go with the potato the potato garden there, that one there. So let's just uh, level this area off and give ourselves a nice working platform. All right, that's looking nice and flat. We've got a bit of a drop off on this edge, which we can sort out a little bit later. But I don't want to be spending too much money landscaping. Uh, however, we would have had to pay when we go into the placeable site. So let's go and find that potato garden. Now I have to be mindful of the fact that the manure and water is on the back side. So we need to make sure we've got enough space to be able to get in and access that. And then the other side, this side here is where the pallets spawn. So I think, let me put it like that. It should give us enough space to be able to get down both sides. Of course we can cut more trees down and improve the access. So let's just start off by setting that one down. I'm just wondering whether we actually, instead of going parallel with the road, whether we should be parallel more with the bank. No, I think we'll stay parallel with the road. So there we go. We'll get that placed. Let's go take a look at it. We're inside. We've got the doors there, the pallets. That's, uh, that's all looking pretty good. We can smooth that little piece out there, tidy all that up with a little bit of landscaping. So I'll just get that sorted. Now, obviously we don't have any manure yet. We need to get the pigs producing that and we need some straw for them to do that. So it's a start. My plan is to extend these and have multiple greenhouses, multiple different options for some uh, other income on top of the crops and the animals so it's uh it's shaping up and i'm just going to tidy this up a little bit more and uh, then we'll heat it up and we had done a lot of that work at five times speed so we should have some seed just about produced we go let's leave the uh, greenhouse there that's uh, all ready to go for when we get some manure so we'll head back up to the yard and see how our seeds going so I can still hear it running here and if we just pull up stand next to it we can see that we have a thousand liters of seed produced there uh, we've run out of the grains that we put into it uh, we've still got plenty of herbicide. Does not look like we're going to run out of that anytime soon. So I think if we click there, and I th think if I check right, we might have to stand a little bit to the side to be able to do this, just because of where the trigger is for the pallet. There we go. We've got that selected spawn one pallet, and there we have it. A thousand liters of seed, all made from our own seed mixer with our own grains put in there and some herbicide to give it some uh, resistance for when it's growing so that's fantastic now let's uh, look in here we need to move the fence and hook the planter up to doits so we'll get that sorted out and uh, then be able to try some planting with this uh, new planter and our own seed 
we're just getting it all hooked up there let's see it looks like we've uh, got better success there with those terminals i can't see any of those hydraulic lines hanging out down there which is good so i'm just wondering if we can we can fill up the fertilizer without grabbing the big bag handler or the forks to lift that bag up that's interesting i like that how it shrinks as it uh, lost some of its capacity that's very cool and if we pull up next to the seed there we go we can get some seed put into there perfect now we've already got corn selected we'll just dodge the trailer and head straight in here to make a start on some planting we'll get that planter there unfolded stretches out nice and wide and turned on lowered down now let's just see if the that's the uh, covers I want to see if I can get the arms to work or not. Right, there we go. Managed to figure out the command for the uh, ridge marker there. So it looks like we're using fertilizer. We're using seed, which is all a, a good sign that uh, things are working as they should. So let's uh, crack into getting this field planted. be looking forward to getting a crop in. I did say I was going to today so uh, certainly something I want to achieve. Now I also mentioned earlier we were going to look at getting some more animals and get Roxanne to do that. Now I was thinking a little bit more about it while we've been doing some of the other activities. We don't want to get any more chickens yet because we don't have the wheat so until we've harvested the wheat we don't want to be doing that. So we either uh, run down and some more pigs or a few more sheep now obviously pigs would be good because they are going to be producing manure which is something we are going to need uh, when we can obviously we can't produce manure until we have straw which we also need the wheat for uh, so we might actually add a few more sheep uh, they're producing wool pretty quickly so it'd be nice to carry that on and get some more product over there so I might get around to the other side now that we know this planter is all running well we'll uh, just stop when we get around here we'll hook Roxanne and the Fent up to the animal trailer and she can head down to buy some more animals for us we've got Roxanne all hooked up ready to go I did just realize we are getting a little bit low on diesel in the tractor there uh, very observant of her to point that out to me so fortunately we do have some diesel there we can get that topped up so uh, we'll get that put in there and she can head off on her way all right and that's uh, a bit of diesel more a bit more diesel in the tractor and she is off down to the cell point or the animal the dealer so uh, we can carry on in here get some more crop planted and then we will have to uh, have to go down and give her a little bit of a hand with the actual purchasing uh, but once we've done that should be able to come back and we'll carry on planting in the, these fields.
tell you what, this slightly wider planter, even though it's not that much bigger, certainly f makes it feel like we got through this field very fast. It was uh, very nice to use, very impressed with how it has done, how quickly it has got that field completed. Uh, it is very heavy though, when we have the planter raised like we do, it has a tendency to try and lift the front of the tractor off the ground, so we just need to be mindful of that. Uh, perhaps next time we won't fill it quite so full with fertiliser. Obviously we have not used much for doing this field. It's mainly the seed we would have to top up. But while we're here, I'll get in and get this topped up with seed. Make sure we've got enough to do the other field. There we go, that is full. We can get these uh, both these fields planted off that one bag of seed. That's... Uh, just about going to have paid for itself already. It's very conveniently the auto drive network goes right across the trigger for the animal dealer which is uh, good to see. Now I think I think we're just going to get some more pig, pigs. Now we got the black and white. Now I'm not going to make the same mistake I made with the sheep and mix and match. Uh, we're just going to get exactly the same to help with our breeding. So if we fill the trailer up there there's only four six thousand dollars we'll confirm that and now with auto drive we can head back up to our farm and there we go off so roxanne on her way back with four more animals to add to our is it a herd of pigs not actually quite sure what it is block pigs herd of pigs i'm sure one of you will correct me in the comments and i'll probably think about it after i've recorded this and go why didn't i think of that and back here we are just going to get straight into planting this field as well, getting the corn in the ground. We'll be able to keep an eye on the track here for when Roxanne gets back, be able to go and unload those pigs, get them added into the pen. And all but done in this field, just one little sliver back up here to do. 
Well, in fact, there might have been two. I thought we were managing to get it covered with the width of the planter, at least on one side. I must have just missed on that other side there. So we'll uh, just race across these two pieces. Get that all done and uh, head back down towards the sheds. Now, I did wonder we were going to have enough seed. But as it's turned out, we have more than enough. So, very impressed with how that seed mixer or seed maker worked perfect size and uh, perfect cost for our little operation down here and there we go get that turned off we can even fold the planter up head back up to the shed and uh, then we'll just help Roxanne get those few pigs unloaded and I think it'll be time to call it quits for the day and there's our four pigs and we'll get them here out of the trailer and into the pig pen we go all empty and they will be roaming around in fact there was one <laughs> right behind us we go they are roaming around in our uh, in around our pig pen and we'll be making us some manure just as soon as we can get some straw they will be uh we'll be making some slurry though too so that's something else we're gonna have to have a look at is getting a slurry spreader but I think I'm gonna wrap things up there uh, it's certainly been a bit of a all over the place episode uh, but we've got a lot done we've got all the silage sold we've got both fields planted we've made seed we've bought some more animals we've cut down some trees and placed a greenhouse so a very productive episode and things as always are cranking along on the farm and are really starting to develop but once again happy birthday Roxanne hope you've had a great day I hope you have enjoyed your time on the farm and thank you very much for your help as for everyone else, thank you all for the comments. Keep them coming. I will try and endeavour to uh, involve as many of you as I can across the series. So uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you have enjoyed that and I will catch you in the next one.